demonstrate how to use um, the Gua Sha tools or scraping as I like to call it. When you use these tools, I use this one more than I use the smaller one, um, you always want to use some sort of lotion, some cream. Um, you get a little bit of cream and if you're, when you scrape, you get the, the cream on and I kind of just go at an angle and it, when you do this, you can scrape, start light and see what you can handle, but you can see that the areas that need to be scraped kind of go red really fast. And so that's where you will focus on. And you can kind of see how it's getting redder and the petechiae starts to come up. So I do almost every part of my body that I can reach. Um, I'll do the backs of my calves, just coming up or going down. My Achilles, I'll get in there. Around my knees, if my knees are a little bit sore. Over you can go over the tendons. It's great for tendonitis. A lot of attachment areas, even if it's bony, is fine to do. You can kind of see how it's coming up a little bit more around the attachment, and that's fine. That petechiae stuff is what you want to see. It means that's good. Quads. Another way that I use it, if I have an injury, if I have some tendonitis, I tend to get ten tendonitis around my ankle bones or on the front of my shin. I will actually take it and your muscle through here, should, they should be sectioned out, separated, and if they get really tight, they'll kind of glue themselves together. So I will take the tool and I'll get in between there and kind of really dig in. The hamstring's another area where I will do that because the three hamstring muscles will glue together in the middle and you just get in there and separate it. First you want to scrape it so it's warmed up. The glutes, of course I'll do this on skin. I will kind of just go like this and my problem area too is my SI joint so I'll just dig in back there get it go across to my glute my neck is another one of my problems so again with lotion I'll just scrape my neck if you're having problems with tennis elbow or you like your tricep hurts Get in there, your pec muscles, you can scrape those. You always just wanna make sure that your tool is kind of angled to your skin. It, I mean, it works a little bit better if you do it that way. And you can kind of tell if your skin starts to welt up, it means you're done. But really, as long as you can handle it there, you can do it. Um, so again, I have a smaller tool that I kind of do around my smaller, like my ankle bone underneath here. I go over the tops of my feet. You building Legos? You can do the bottoms of your feet. It's a little funny feeling, but if you have some plantar problems, you can really get in there if you can stand doing that on yourself. There's some areas that is a little hard to handle, but I do it because it keeps me healthy. <laughs> I recommend doing it about once a week, especially if you're training hard. Sometimes I will scrape every day if I have a twinge somewhere, I'll scrape it. I don't mess around with injuries, so 
Um, I'm going to demonstrate doing it on somebody else so that you can see what it looks like doing it on somebody else. So I'm going to have Erica come out and I will do a little bit on her back. So again, you want to use some lotion and warm it up. Start light before you start going deeper. Some people can only handle it light and that's okay. It still works. But as you can see, it's the red is coming up pretty quickly. And now I have the petechiae coming up. So you can see how she needs this done pretty badly. <laughs> so if you can talk a loved one into doing this, if you can talk somebody into scraping you, you can have somebody else, you know, do over your glutes, do your hamstrings, and of course, your back. So there you have it. That is how you scrape. So you can see right here how she's got that boutique eye coming up. And that is a positive sign. That's a good sign. And that's what you what? want to see. It doesn't always happen. And that's okay. Sometimes you get more just true bruising. And that's okay too. Um, after you scrape the next day, you'll probably be pretty sore. Um, that's okay. It takes a couple days for the bruising and the soreness to go away. I don't feel the soreness anymore um, after you do it enough you don't your legs just feel really good or wherever you do it so that's a great thing for you